Okay, so what is the discriminant? Well, it turns out that the discriminant is a little piece of our famous quadratic formula. Well, here's Let's our take formula. A look. Now, the discriminant is the piece of this that will discriminate between whether we have one answer or no answers or two answers. Now, you've done enough work with the quadratic formula to know that the hardest part of it, the part that can cause trouble, is this part right underneath here. And indeed, that is the part that's the discriminant. It's the portion underneath the radical sign. All right. Now, there are only three things that can happen here. So let's take a look quickly. If the b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, that means it's positive, you're going to get two answers. You'll get two answers. We'll abbreviate that. Because you can take a square root of any positive number. Okay? And so, if it's possible to take this square root, then we will take the opposite of b and we'll add the square root, and then the opposite of b, and then we'll subtract the square root, and divide by 2a, and there'll be two positive. If the b squared minus 4ac is exactly equal to 0, then the whole radical will poof away to nothing. The square root of 0 is 0. And the problem will then the answer will then just be the opposite of b divided by 2a. So in that case, there will only be one answer. As I said, there are three possible things that could happen. So if the b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, or if it turns out to be a negative number, we're in trouble because you can't take the square root of a negative number, at least not in the real number system you can't. So we're going to end up with a system error and we're going to get no answer. So all you have to do is take a look at this little piece under here and you'll know how many answers to expect.